So the Apple A16 Bionic was launched back in 2022 and at that time it was already a deal breaker. I mean it was the fastest chipset at that time. It's still faster than some new flagship chipsets like the Google Tencent G3, Exynos 2200 and the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2. I have wanted to review this chipset from a long time but the release of Apple iPhone 15 series made it easier for me. I mean the regular iPhone 15 and the 15 plus are launching with this chipset. But keep that in mind, this chipset isn't as fast as the Apple S17 Pro. But it's still not bad for an $800 smartphone. So let's review this chipset and see how well it performs in 2023 with the iPhone 15 plus. The Apple S16 Bionic performs really well in different benchmarks. In Android version 10, it achieves a total score of 1,437,844, which is still more than the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, Exynos 2200, and the MediaTek Dimensity 9200. It also does well in the Geekbench 6, scoring 2,609 for single core and 6,600 for multi core performance. And man, these single core scores are still faster than the MediaTek Dimensity 9300 which is the latest 2023 chipset and the single cores are even more faster than the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset which is also the 2023's latest chipset and I'm still amazed how because this chipset was launched back in 2022 but it still manages to beat these two flagship chipsets. The Apple S16 Bionic features a 6-core CPU architecture with two high-performance cores clocked at 3.46 GHz, referred to as Everest, and four energy-efficient cores running at 2.02 GHz, known as Sawtooth. The chipset operates on an ARM version 9-A instruction set architecture and has 16 MB of L2 cache memory, allowing for efficient data processing. This chipset was built on cutting-edge 4 nanometer processor technology by TSMC, and this chipset incorporates 16 billion transistors, which is a lot more than Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and the MediaTek Dimensity 9300 and the Exynos 2400. This chipset is still also power efficient because it operates on only 8 watts of power. The A16 Bionic efficiently balanced performance and power consumption. The Apple A16 Bionic GPU is built on an Apple GPU architecture and operates at a frequency of 1.39 GHz. The GPU comprises of 5 execution units, housing a total of 128 shading units, equating to 640 shaders in total. With a performance capability of 1789 gigaflops, this GPU demonstrates significant processing power. The Apple A16 Bionic chipset RAM is based on a quad-channel LPDDR5 RAM with a memory frequency of 3200 MHz. This configuration provides a maximum memory bandwidth of 51.2 GB per second. This chipset supports a maximum RAM size of 6 GB, which is sufficient for smooth and responsive performance in various applications. Additionally, the Apple A16 Bionic utilizes NVMe storage technology for lighting fast read and write speeds. The Apple A16 Bionic boosts an impressive neural engine for AI processing. It supports a maximum display resolution of later over 2.5K with 120Hz refresh rate and this chipset supports various HDR formats like HDR, HDR10+, and Dolby Vision for rich and detailed viewing experience. This chipset can also support cameras of up to 48 megapixels with triple 18-bit RAW ISP for maximum output from the camera. And believe me, this chipset really did a good job in the iPhone 14 Pro series. And with the standard 15 and the 15 Plus, this chipset really impresses us by how faster and how efficient this can be. Because for the first time, it eliminates the difference between the Apple iPhone 15 Pros and the 15 standards. Because the 15 Plus can do as much as the 15 Pro Max. You will see that in the full review of the Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max. So for that, please stay updated by subscribing my channel. This chipset is also amazing for video captures. I mean it can record videos at 4K at 60 frames per second in various formats like cinematic video, log video and in Apple ProRes. It can also play back videos at 4K at 60 frames per second which is amazing. This chipset also supports various audio and video codecs. Like for the video, it supports H.264, H.265, VP8, VP9 and Motion JPEG. And for the audio, it supports AAC, AIFF, CAF, MP3, MP4, WAV, AC3, EAC3, AAX, and AAX+. These features make the A16 a robust platform for multimedia experiences. And if you like this video, the support the channel will be acceptable. The Apple A16 Bionic features a versatile 
connectivity options as it supports both 5G and 4G with 4G at LTE Kit 24 with impressive download speed of up to 7.5 gigabytes per second and upload speed of up to 3.5 gigabytes per second ensures fast data transmission. This chipset also supports Wi-Fi 6E and the Bluetooth 5.3 for seamless device pairing and communication. So there you have it all, all these features and spec sheet of this chipset. I will say that Apple is really doing well with its Apple Silicon. Implementing this on the iPhone 15 and the 15 Plus is a good move. I mean, the S17 Pro has a lot of heating issues in the Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max, mainly because of the optimization and being too fast. Because the Apple S17 Pro has almost 19 billion transistors and clock at 3.78 GHz. So that means the higher the clock speeds, the more the chances to create more heat, which is why the Apple S17 Pro runs too hot. But that issue has been solved. I will explain that in the full comprehensive review of the Apple iPhone 15 Pro and the Pro Max. So for that, stay updated again. I had made a review on the Apple S17 Pro chipset. So if you are interested, please check that out. So that's all for this review. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video from my channel. And if you really enjoyed this video, then leave a like and comment down below. So my name is Hamza, this is Headstack and see you in the next video. So if you want to watch the full review of the Apple S17 Pro, then that video is right here. And if you want to watch the full review of the Mediatek Dimensity 9300, then that video is right here. Thank you for watching.